Ah, yes. Finals are over. Depression strikes. Wanting to drive 150 miles into a tree. Ah, the most wonderful time of the year. Where everything is holly and jolly. When friends, family, and loved ones gather together and celebrate who knows what because everyone has different beliefs. The same can be said for anime characters who bring this Christmas spirit to the screen. So in this video, I'll be talking about some of the only Christmas episodes I know about. So let's jump right into it. The first one on our list is Komi Can't Communicate's Christmas episode. This episode shows Komi's class trying to find a birthday present for her since her birthday is on Christmas. So they do this whole thing to see like, yo, what gift is worthy for this queen? And they end up buying her a cat body pillow so original we see the class meet up at her house and play some games and have fun which to me was wholesome and i loved every second of it because i can never experience that in real life so yeah good for you having the life i wish i had the next one is a tour door christmas episode and this one the school's having a christmas event and taiga has to sing and she wants her dad to come but he ditches her so she leaves the event early and goes home to her empty apartment to spend the night alone Ryuji was like, nah, bro, this is my chance to get the girl. So he trades his suit for a bear Santa costume to make his girl happy. And all this leads to her confessing that she loves him. And my boy gets the happy ending. That's all the lives is Pokemon's Christmas special. Honestly, one of the most goaded anime Christmas episodes to me. Because we get to see Ash's Pikachu plus his Pokemon and his group's Pokemon. Where he's together to help Santa after his Pokemon has fallen ill. It's nice to see how Pokemon, even though they can't talk, tell an amazing story with their actions. And it's beautiful to see this. And everyone, no matter how young or old, can enjoy this special together. The next one on this list comes from My Hero Academia. We gotta see Class 1A celebrate Christmas together, dressed as Santa. During the celebration, Aizawa brings Eri, who's that girl, you know, who went through all that traumatic stuff. And we gotta see her experience Christmas for the first time. She mixes up holidays, which to me, wholesome and adorable to watch. The whole class is having fun trying to help her understand Christmas a bit. So, you know, you gotta enjoy that. You gotta enjoy a newbie experience Christmas for the first time. Next one is just a quick mention, which is Brenna Girlfriend's Christmas episode, where we have Kazuya stalking Mizuhara because he thinks she was with another dude. Honestly, n like a weird episode for Christmas, but you know, there, we get the like relationship development, I guess, until she's like, bro, I remember you stalked me and fuck off so yeah we got that well anyways to the next one sword online's christmas episode which follows kirito making some friends and falling in love god we get a loner finally getting a chance but he loses it all in a blink of an eye so he sets out to beat a boss to get an item that can res any dead player he kills the boss gets the item and finds out it's useless and proceeds to sit alone and listen to his dead lover hum rudolph the red-nosed reindeer Honestly, that episode hurts till this day. God, Christmas anime. Fucking killing me. But anyways, those were Christmas anime episodes that I could find. So I hope you enjoyed and have a Merry Christmas.